Hey guys, welcome to another Construct 2 tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you how to use a variation of the car behavior in order to make an, a, a different variation to the top-down like sort of RPG style in which the WASD keys are used to move and turn rather than the D key, for instance the D key making you move directly to the right it simply turns your character without having those restraints that for instance a directional has. So what we're going to do here so we're actually going to incidentally start out with the 8-direction behavior first. Now we don't need any of this text because that's not what we're doing. So we're going to go to the player object. Since this is all nicely set up for us, we're going to delete the 8-direction behavior and we are going to add the car behavior. Then once we have this, we're going to modify this a little bit just to slow them down. And you want the acceleration and the deceleration to be very high. That way you're not having your character float to a stop which in this case would not be so good. Now we're going to erase the steer speed because the default car behavior will not allow you to turn unless you have some sort of velocity or speed. So we're going to actually make this zero because we're going to do as our own control for that. You can, you can Now you can leave the drift, recover, and friction um, to the defaults. We aren't going to be messing with those right now. This you don't want to mess with. And then friction you can just leave as point four for now until you start messing around with solids in your game. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make our own default, our, our own controls instead of having the default controls. And that's all we're going to edit on the player's part. Now we're going to do the event sheet. And what we need to do first is add an object type. And this will be keyboard. So let's just go here. We're just going to need this. And then we're going to add events that simulate character movement um, for the car. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the keyboard, add event for a keyboard and while a key is down let's start out with the W key and that'll be our forward movement so what we're actually how many the number of keys that we're going to add is six because what we're going to do is have the traditional WASD key movements but then we're also going to add um, a function for strafing so those will be handled by Q and E and now once we have six we can start simulating the player movement for the car. So simulate control, and we're going to have accelerate. So W will accelerate the car, as, or accept, <laughs> sorry, player as usual. And then this will be our deceleration or break as it is improperly named in the behavior. And now this we need to modify to S. So forwards, backwards, and then we're going to have right and left. So this will be the D key for right and the A key for left. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to have this move the player at a fraction of its maximum speed. So right now that's set to 50. So let's say we want the player to be able to turn at 80 percent of its maximum speed. What we're going to do is make sure that we set its current angle to its own to, to that current angle plus a percentage of the max speed. So we're going to leave this at zero for now, and that's just to show you that zero to 360 is clockwise. So if you've been taught math in America, you pretty much had it completely backwards as to how this works in Construct 2. I'm not sure how they handle it in other countries, but, you know, we're just backwards here in America. Anyway, once we do, let's go to D. So this is going to be our rotating to the right. And so we're going to be setting angle to, first off, we're going to need to know its own angle. And what we're going to do is because we're turning clockwise, we're going to add to this value a portion of the cars of the car behavior's max speed as it is set over here. So we're going to need to multiply that to dt so that way it's constant throughout frames. And then we're going to multiply it by not a percentage, but rather a decimal number. Or let's yeah, let's go with 60%. 60% of the max speed will be the rate at which it turns, at which the player object turns to the right. And so once we're done with that, we can actually copy this to A, and then we simply need to make it a negative. So self angle minus the fraction of the car speed. And this will rotate the player to the left. Now once we've done that, we can run the layout. Just to test it out, we have left, right, forwards, backwards. We can go to the left here, or to the right, going forward, left, back up, and this is working beautifully. Alrighty, now once we're done with that, we are going to add some nice little strafing functions. 
first one we're going to need is Q and then E. So Q will be to the left and this will be at minus 90 degrees from the current player angle. So we're going to go to the player. We're going to move at an angle. And we're going to move at its own angle minus 90 degrees. And then we're going to move at a fraction of the maximum speed just as we were setting the angle of the player. So we're going to go to self dot car dot max speed and we're going to multiply that by DT and then we're going to multiply that by let's say 70 percent and then once we're done with this we can successfully cut and paste and we're going to make sure that this moves the player to the strafes to the right so E is straight to the right now we can test this out we got E, we got Q forwards, backwards, left, right. And you can also strafe while moving. You could disable that if you wanted to, but it, I think it makes more sense this way, in a practical sense. So we've got this perfectly working. Yeah! Now we get some of that more uh, traditional skill-based shooting, rather than being able to automatically turn your character to the mouse, which is kind of cheap, to be honest. We have this, which takes a little bit more skill and a little bit more player handling, but I think it's worth it if you're going to make a nice little polished game. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and I am planning on making more tips, tutorials, and such. So keep a watch on my channel, subscribe, like, and I will see you guys again. Thanks again for watching.